Hi, and welcome back to the channel, Michelle, and today I'm going to be showing you a week's worth of gluten-free lunches, but the theme this week will be Halloween. Now, seasonally or during holidays, I will choose a week out of the month to do a specific theme. I've done a fall theme, I'll link that up above. I do a Christmas theme, I do an Easter theme, Valentine's theme. But my lunches, I have a bunch of lunch videos if you want to check those out, my lunches aren't always this elaborate. I specifically only do it for a week because it does take more work. But here's the thing, I find it fun. It's like, I have to make lunches every single day no matter what. This at least makes it more fun for me. It breaks up the mundane of making lunches every day. So everything you're gonna see here is gluten-free for my nine-year-old, five-year-old, and two-year-old. I'm gonna be sharing his lunches as well. My two-year-old also has a dairy intolerance, so on top of being gluten-free, his lunches are dairy and soy-free as well. So I'm gonna turn you around. First, I'm gonna show you kind of how I prep for things, and then I'll show you Monday's lunch. So first is prep. Now I got this free printable, I'm pretty sure from the Planet Box website, because that is typically what we use here. You can see we have Planet Box lunch boxes, and I will just kind of mentally write down things and figure out what the theme for each day is. So spiders, pumpkins, mummies, Frankenstein, bats, and kind of work around that. This really helps me to make sure I have the things on hand and then I don't have to be very creative at, you know, 6.30 in the morning when I'm making these. I can just look at my pre-plan. Again, I only do this for those special weeks of holiday or seasonal lunches. So some of the prep things I have is I have these edible markers, and these are, of course, gluten-free. I have the primary colors and the neon colors. I have a collection of cake toppers. Some of these are from Walmart, some of them are from the Dollar Tree. I have my own collection. I've kept over the years. Of course, when we went gluten-free, I had to get rid of my entire stash of lunch supplies and buy new. So that was really hard, but I've slowly been building up my cupcake topper stash, but this just makes it a little bit more fun. And then the cupcake liners. And then I have a collection of just cookie cutters. That's just one easy way to make sandwiches fun. This collection is Halloween. I have a really big Christmas collection because obviously that's for cookies as well. I have some Valentine's one. And usually what I do is seasonally when the holidays pass, so when Halloween is passed, I'll look in the clearance section and see if there's any of these cookie cutters I don't currently have. So for example, I think I picked up a spider last year. So that is kind of just the prep and of course kitchen scissors are always helpful. So let's start with Monday's lunch. So this is my nine-year-old, this is my five-year-old, this is my two-year-old. My nine and five-year-old have the planet box. My two-year-old has started to use his sister's old Bentco, and that's just because it's smaller. Once he gets a little older, I will invest in another Planet Box, but it works for him now. He's also started eating lunch with my girls because his nap schedule has changed, so I just make them all now. So, the theme for today was spiders. I'm gonna show you my two oldest first, and then show you my youngest, because his is a little different because of the dairy and soy. So I just made some peanut butter and jelly spiders. Again, I have these little, and I know these are not the correct number of spider legs. These are not the correct number of spider eyes. <laughs> it's just for fun. As a homeschooler, it does kind of kill me, but it's not correct, but it's just for fun. So these are the spiders. Again, I just used that cookie cutter. I have these little a or these little eyes, and then I just drew some on that kind of showed different types of spiders. We have some witch's brooms up here, and this is just the Nutino pretzels with some string cheese. And again, I just took the kitchen scissors and cut the end so it kind of looked like a broom, cupcake topper. This is cotton candy spider web. I found these at Dollar Tree. Surprisingly, Dollar Tree does carry some gluten free things. Um, but I think the kids will really like that. And I just put a cupcake topper in there so it kind of looks more like a spider web. We've got some cherry tomatoes from our garden, again, spider eggs, and then some yogurt with honey. I tried to make the honey look like a spider web, but it is what it is. It'll get jumbled around in there probably. My five-year-old has pretty much the same thing, except she has, instead of peanut butter and jelly, she gets butter, and again, gluten-free. You have to be careful with things like condiments, yogurts, because they can contain gluten. So 
they have this. My five-year-old and two-year-old have, or not my, only my five-year-old has butter and jam because she does not like peanut butter. Same stuff there, same witches brooms. Now on to my two-year-old. And I do make my own gluten-free bread. I'll link that above. That's what I use to cut the sandwiches. So for my two-year-old, his is a little different because he can't have dairy. So I can't do the witch's brooms with him. So he has a peanut butter and jelly spider. And I just use the pretzels to make the legs. And then I use the rest of the eye. So his is a little different. He's got the so delicious dairy-free gluten-free yogurt with some honey. He's got the same cherry tomatoes, and he's got a little bit of that kind of candy. You can hear him screaming in the background now. I don't put, when it comes to food picks, I have no problem putting things like this in his that are not sharp, but blunt. Now these cupcake toppers are obviously a lot sharper, so I don't put those in here. That's why he doesn't have a spider in his kind of candy. He's just not quite old enough for that step of the lunches yet without me having to watch him. So. That is Monday's Halloween themed lunch. Tuesday's Halloween themed lunch. So nine year old, five year old, two year old. Again, two oldest is gluten free. Youngest is gluten free and dairy free. So for lunch today we have Halloween pumpkins. And again, this is just my homemade bread. I use the edible food markers that are gluten free to make the face. So my nine year old has ham and the lunch meat we really like to use if we don't have Costco is this one because it's also gluten free and it comes in a large pack because we're family five, we go through a lot. Cheese and she has mayonnaise on hers and then she has butter popcorn with some raisins. Again, we just get the big raisins from Costco. She's got a little Halloween pumpkin cat in there and then this is obviously just a halo orange and I put a little food pick in there to give it a stem for the treat they have some fruit snacks and I just picked these up I do prefer the Aldi brand but they just have fruit strips not fruit snacks this year so they come in different shapes and they're gluten free and then they have crackers peanut butter and pretzels pretzels are the glutino pretzels these are the ones my kids really like. It's similar to Ritz, but not exactly like it, but it has a good flavor to it. And they're supposed to be little spiders. So my five-year-old, she has salami. Again, we get our salami from Aldi. She has cheese, no mayonnaise on her. She's got the same little pumpkin, same spiders. She has plain popcorn with raisins and some fruit snacks. My two-year-old, he has just a little mini pumpkin. You can see here my oldest has full size and a mini. He just has a mini pumpkin and his is just salami and cheese. And we use the dairy free cheese from Aldi. It's also gluten free. He's got the same plain popcorn with raisins, fruit snacks, and a little orange. This is Wednesday's lunch. This is my nine year old, five year old, two year old. Now you're gonna see <laughs> some shadowing because I have a skylight in my kitchen and it's very bright right now. So we will start with my nine and five year old. So again, these are gluten free. My two year olds is gluten free and dairy free. So we have mummy hot dogs, again, gluten free hot dogs. I had some leftover pretzel dough in the freezer. So I just defrosted that, wrapped it around, cooked it. I know lots of times when you see it on Pinterest, it's just puff pastry or pizza dough. Any of those things works. Of course, I make mine hand, and I have a pizza dough video I can link up above. I make my dough from scratch, obviously, for gluten-free. Just use some eyeball picks. Again, all the eyeball picks you can just get off Amazon. Veggie straws. They have a little ghost cheese stick. Ghost tomatoes from our garden. This is the last <laughs> we have. Then I made some monster apples. Again, all these ideas I just find on Pinterest. I don't often come up with my own. I just see it and replicate it. Just make it gluten-free and fun. So these are just the little almonds, fruit picks. And again, I just use peanut butter to stick them on. Five-year-old, this is the same thing. Hot dog, her monsters. They have gummy worms. 
as their treat. My five-year-old, or my two-year-old, who is also dairy-free, a top of gluten-free, he's got the same little monster apples, but I ran out of eyeballs, so he got little cactus guys. He's got yogurt, vanilla yogurt with some chocolate chips, look like a ghost. He's got his little pretzel dough mummy, and then he's got veggie straws and gummy worms for his treat. So that is our Wednesday themed Halloween lunch. Thursday's lunch, nine year old, five year old, two year old, gluten free. This one is also dairy free. The theme today is Frankenstein. So I'll start with my oldest. So they have these wraps and I just use the Mission gluten-free wraps. They're spinach, but my kids don't seem to mind. I mean, there's mayonnaise and cheese on it, so as long as it's certified gluten-free, it's good. So my nine-year-old just has ham. She had some shredded cheese. And the mayonnaise we've been liking lately is this. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, and soy-free. So the kids like that. And then for the little notches coming off his head, those are just uh, veggie straws. I have the food picks from Amazon, I drew the face using these edible food markers. That's my two-year-old in the background. And then the hair is just tortillas. Again, obviously gluten-free. These are the ones from Aldi. And they're just stuck on by mayonnaise. Pretty much mayonnaise is like glue in food. So here we have baby carrots and I just cut a notch with a knife and stuck a almond in them. And again, you have to be careful with nuts and things like that. Make sure they say gluten-free on them because cross-contamination on lines. But I just put a little notch on the inside and slid the almond in so it's secure. Don't have to put anything else in it. And here they have pickles. I thought that would just be good because, you know, green. And it will go well with the wrap because some kids like it on the wrap, some kids don't. So this was my attempt at a kiwi Frankenstein. Again, not perfect, but my kids will enjoy it. So food pick, I have pretzels for the notches. This was a hat from a witch that I just cut the top part off to be his hair. And then I attempted to use gel food coloring because I do like to use the food markers, but it won't work on kiwi. So it kind of made him look a little more scary than usual, but I think this is a perfect example that lunches don't have to be perfect or pretty or look exactly like Pinterest. Your kids will still like them. My kids will probably say, oh, what is that? And I'll be like, it's Frankenstein. Oh, that's cool. And they'll eat it. That's the point. And then uh, we have some gluten-free Oreos, and I included these because these are by far, but I think the best creation, gluten-free, has come up with gluten-free Oreos. So my five-year-old has pretty much the exact same thing, except she has salami on hers. And then my two-year-old, he is also dairy soy free. So he has salami, and then we just use the gluten-free, dairy-free shredded cheese from Aldi. He's got the same thing. For his Frankenstein, I did less, because as I mentioned in previous video, I'm careful with the food picks and how sharp they are. So he just has a normal food pick and I used a raisin for the mouth and then he's got the same notches and then he just has two little finger guys because obviously he's going to eat less. But that is Thursday's lunch. Friday's lunch, last lunch of the week, Halloween themed, nine year old, five year old, two year old. Both these are gluten free, this is gluten free and dairy free. So today's theme is bets. So I will start with my oldest here. So we just have quesadillas. Again, the mission flour tortillas. I use the edible food marker to make the eyes. So just regular cheese. They have some bats with, or some grapes with some bats. They have the witch's brooms cheese stick, glutino pretzels, and then Lara bars. These are an awesome, allergy friendly treat obviously it does have nuts in it so if you have a nut allergy that isn't very friendly but it's gluten free dairy free vegan so they have the double chocolate truffle which is really good five year old has the exact same thing she's got the three bats quesadillas all that my two year old his only difference is his quesadillas are the all the gluten free dairy free cheese 
He's got the same bar of pretzels. I didn't give him, obviously, the cheese because that has dairy in it. And I've never found a good dairy-free cheese stick substitute. If you have, let me know, but I haven't been able to find one. He's got grapes. And then their treat is the... Oh, it's stuck to the top of the lids. Is the cotton candy that was left over from the spider webs. And I just put a little food pick in there. Again, got this from Aldi. There's raspberry, apple, I think watermelon is a flavor too. So that concludes this week of Halloween lunches. Thanks for watching.